Stuttgart, beautiful, beautiful city in the summer, high temperatures. <laughs> it's the German <laughs> Open, and it's number 32. Yes. And here we have the two most important people uh, behind the German Open. We have the chairman of the board of the German Open Championships Limited, and we have the uh, chief executive officer of the same yeah. Limited. And uh, going into this edition, uh, what comes to mind? It's uh, the stress that's awaiting, or uh, is it the satisfaction that most of the work has already been done? I'm first. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think the satisfaction comes first, will come first, because uh, the work in the last eight weeks is tremendous. It's, you cannot count the hours which we will work on the festival. And when the Tuesday, it's today, will be finished in the evening, we can say everything is done because Monday and Tuesday are the most difficult days because everybody comes, pick up the tickets, do this, ask this, does this. So we are glad if the Tuesday is finished. And so we are looking forward to tonight. And I think also my colleague, because uh, this is also his two most busy days. Yeah. And, right? okay. Uh, it's OK, yeah? You see, it's the uh, most uh, important day for us in working, and the, the next days, it's not uh, so busy for us. Oh. Busy, that's so busy. And uh, I think Harry is right. He said the last eight weeks was very hard to work. But I think it's hobby for us to do it for time spot. I, it's, it's hobby if it's, in a, it's an official business. I don't don't work so many, so many hours. No, I think that the time is that the the worst worst time of the day is the night, because you like to sleep, and you are in the in always involved in the festival. What you must do tomorrow? What is necessary? What we forget? So, the nights are very short, and uh, the daytime are yeah just normal. It was last night, for example, I can't sleep because <laughs> oh, I, tomorrow that must be done, this must be done, mm -hmm. this must be done. But it is, it is normal and we are used to, this is the good thing. So we, we know what to do and we know who must do this and this and this. We delegate a lot of jobs because we have a fantastic job, uh, fantastic staff around us, really fantastic people. And they are here in Stuttgart now for 15 years working about that project. And we can trust them and mm -hmm. we know that everything will work. This is the most important thing for us. But every year you also have the tendency to add something new, to do something differently. Sometimes big things, sometimes little things. What's new in uh, 2018? I think the worst thing is if it comes to a routine that every year is the same. For example, our VIP guests say, ah, tomorrow we have in the VIP lounge this and this food. They know it from the last three years, so this is not good. And my idea was in this year to change something. The Grand Slam series standard where dance turns into sport. He's what you say to me. So we have this year, it is the second time in the German Open history that we have no orchestra. And we have now a Lithuanian, no, sorry, Estonian singer. Her name is Gerli Padar. And I met her first time last November in Warsaw. And I was so fascinated about her that I said to my committee, mm -hmm. where Wilfried is also involved, I said, Wilfried, we must test this. We must test this in one German Open year. And she is here with her DJ, DJ Maxi, is very popular DJ in dance sport music. 
And they together produce the music with live orchestra in Estonia in the studio, record it, cut it, everything, balance it, everything, and she will sing on this recorded music live in the evening. And we are really looking forward. We're going to talk to them afterwards. So the Revolution 2018, it's live music, but it's not the uh, 16 uh, musician That's orchestra right. yes. under the direction of mm. Morris. It's a different approach. Yes, it's like it's on the it's originally it's live music, but it is recorded and it comes uh, the music comes from the DJ and the singer is live, and we hope that. The couples definitely will like that because they already test that in two or three competitions and I hope that the public also enjoy it because she's fantastic. Then every year also has, I mean, you uh, tend to do uh, your press conferences uh, like a preview and then a, a post event analysis. Uh, each year it's shaping up a little bit differently. Sometimes it's more entries, sometimes it's a little less entries. Uh, compare 2018 to 2017. 18 to 17 to 18. 18. We I, have, I think we have lost 50 couples. No, not anymore. Now we, are, I think we have 10 couples less than last last year. Last week it was 50, and now oh. it's 10. Yeah, so nearly the same. We can say the same amount of couples as last year. There is only a change. Russia was in the last 14 years here in Stuttgart, always the majority country after Germany. And this changed now. Russia goes down and China came up. So China is now the second highest country in entries at the German Open. That is incredible. And uh, we already saw last year, like a uh, professional division, we had a, a finalist, uh, I think mm -hmm. it was in Latin, yeah. a Chinese couple. And how many Chinese couples do you have now? 215. By nearly, by nearly 500 starts. So they're not done only one competition, they're two and three or four competitions. This is very, very interesting. And I think it, it bodes well for, for the future as well. I mean, yeah. uh, there are more where they come from. <laughs> I think, I think in the future we have more and more Chinese couples, but not only in German urban, I think in the world. Yes. But China is a very big country. <laughs> okay, I, I also read something. Uh, you were quoted in one of the uh, local papers as, as saying, it's getting more and more difficult to find sponsors, sponsors. For, uh, yeah. for the German Open Championships. Why do you think that is? I think it's uh, in our area, it's very difficult to get sponsors for dance sport and for other sports, yes. We have many sponsors for football, for VfB Stuttgart. It's no problem for VfB Stuttgart, while all other First name, German name is Bundesliga. In handball, handball, um, volleyball, they have only one or two sponsors and problems. And uh, I think we have, with our, uh, we have, have Messi? Our exhibitors, our exhibition. Exhibition. Our exhibition is very good. and. If you was here in exhibition, you don't sponsor. I said, and uh, in the Stuttgart press, it was, uh, it was, if it's a problem for me, if I said, oh, we have no problems, the next time, our, our, our city <laughs> said, what, you have no problems? You, you, do, you don't need money from us. And, I, and if I said, we have problems, Maybe next year I get more money from the city. Yeah, but uh, the city of Stuttgart is our main sponsor. We must say that very clear. And uh, we, we need to ask them for a little bit higher sponsorship because 
let me say, this event for Stuttgart is very important because it fills up one week. And I think the, if you count all together the money, what the people that stay here in Stuttgart, it goes to millions, hotels, shops. And, yeah. and, and so this is incredible. And I think Stuttgart knows that this is a very important event for them, very clear. But in, in Transport, we have not many global sponsors. We have local sponsors, but we have not global sponsors. Mm -hmm. And Swarovski, our main sponsor, is a global sponsor. So this is, this is very natural that they are here. But any dressmaker or shoe producer, it's not so easy because how many, how many shoe factories we have now, dance shoe factories, it gets more, 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 more. And the amount of couples gets less, 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 less. So this is not so easy, very, very clear to say. But we have companies who help us with champagne, with wine, with non-alcoholic drinks, hotels, beer. beer. This we have, for sure, but money is very difficult. I think uh, what could help in that respect, I mean, we have always and very consistently had uh, television exposure here in uh, Stuttgart was like above normal standards. It was very high quality and it was usually, it was uh, aired live by uh, your uh, local ARD affiliate, uh, but it never went uh, above the quantity of one hour or two hours. No. And uh, here, for the first time, WDSF has entered into a, into a, a collaboration with one of the, the, the biggest streaming companies in, in sports. Uh, mm -hmm. It's called Flow Sports, and we're going to be streaming every day, uh, except for uh, Wednesday, roughly three hours live worldwide. And then that could really uh, up the audience uh, mm -hmm. can be a help uh, significantly for, for global global players. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. We have we have very popular global players here in Stuttgart. Mm -hmm. We have Mercedes, we have Porsche. So this is we have Bosch. We have one of the biggest the biggest biggest company here in our area, for sure. So this interview mm -hmm. we're doing right now, this is going to go into a into a magazine type uh, mm -hmm. studio show that we're doing and we're doing that under the brand of Swarovski All Eyes on You, our most loyal sponsor yep. and we hope we're uh, being attractive to maybe other global players as you said. Yeah. will be hopefully very positive for us. Because after all, I mean, you're uh, setting the budget level of a German Open where? At more than a million uh, euros, less now than it's a million. A mil now it's nearly a million, 970,000, 970. But I think next year, one million. And for an amount of, uh, yeah, reasonable amount, you can get, I think, global exposure already with the participants you have here. You mm -hmm. have uh, probably how many, 5,000? Different we have we have two and a half thousand couples, yeah. so five thousand participants. So they are spending mm. four days here. I would say that's average, or maybe some of yeah, them even more. Of that. Mm. And uh, all kinds of opportunities to, to uh, yeah, be present in in front of a, a huge audience. Yeah. Uh, in terms of uh, the venue, I mean, this venue has been used now for. Many for years? This year is 15th year, 15th, 15th. Our 15th. And I remember you uh, both said at one time, maybe we should start thinking about moving, uh, I think it was the... Uh, the uh, Exhibition. Stuttgart. Exhibition hall. Right. And what's holding you here? For sure not. Because the atmosphere in an exhibition hall, you know that in an exhibition hall to get an at put an atmosphere in, it's very, very difficult because you come in, you have four walls, one ceiling and a beton floor. And now make something out of that. And this is difficult. Here we have atmosphere halls. We have halls with atmosphere. And we still have a little bit 
space for mm -hmm. more competitions. Yeah. So why we should move? And to fill up a hall with 5,000 people, if you have only 2,000 spectators, so empty hall, nobody likes to have. So we have full hall every day. This is what couples like to see. Yes, and, and we have the, it's very good for us and for the visitors and for the couples. We are in the centrum of Stuttgart. You need five minutes by feet and you are in, in a shopping area. Shopping area. And I see many, many dancers going in the shopping area, coming back with big bags. And uh, this weekend was a, a big summer festival. Summer festival in Stuttgart. All adjudicators, a chairperson going in the in the in the night going in the park in the parks and they're beautiful and if we go to exhibition hall and airport we have an airport and we have a hall and nothing true i think i have to agree with you here it's it's a, it's a setting that's uh, unmatched and i think if if we get maybe we get more more couples in the future. We, we have 100 meters on the side, a sports hall for 1,000. We can use. Then also, what sets you apart? You have over the years always kind of uh, added new dance sport disciplines. Uh, at one point it was Boogie Woogie that came in, and that came in for what reason? Uh, Hmm. Shall I answer very honestly? <laughs> I think you know how difficult it is to sit from the morning to the evening next to the dance floor and watch a dance board competition. At the end, you see from the morning to the evening always the same. All couples looking the same. If you are not an expert, you say, ah, there's this and this couple. It looks always the same. And at least after one hour, it gets boring. So need to go out, another few. And I think to have, beside Latin and standard competitions, another discipline, it's fantastic. We have ex spectators, they said, what shall we do with this boogie woogie? We like to see standard and Latin, no problem. You can see that. But other people, other people said, what fantastic that we see something different because it's a totally different clients. They are, you you mm -hmm. see, they sit, the spectators are sitting on the floor around the couples who are dancing. There is huge atmosphere. There is an enthusiastic atmosphere. What is also very good for our spectators mm -hmm. because they can see how enthusiastic you can be in this discipline, why not in our discipline? Our, well, it's not our discipline, but it is our regular discipline, standard and Latin. Is but, one but of maybe our disciplines. We, and uh, explicitly the German Dance Sport Federation, they recognize all the different disciplines, uh, disciplines that only exist in Germany, like uh, carnivalistic uh, dance mm -hmm. sports. And you could imagine adding something like this. It was planned for today, but we have now really holiday season, vacation season. So the team said, we are not complete, we cannot come, sorry. We're missing four or five or six girls, so it's not possible. Because it was planned. Also in the schedule, it was planned. Last week, they sent us, we are very sorry. Because we know that people also like to see that. We have Maybe in the future, we can do, I think, hip hop or other disciplines, maybe. I think that's uh, one of the, the things to, to consider for the future. We have had hip hop. I know, I know. In Mannheim. Mm. And it was not successful. Not successful. No, because let me say the boogie woogie people 
are not far away from the standard and letting people in their opinion. But if you come to the hip hop people, it is another world. It's sometimes mm -hmm. a totally other world. To make hip hop competition, especially, it's fantastic. But mix, I'm afraid about rock and roll. I'm, a, I'm a really afraid about rock and roll. Rock and Roll Federation like to come in this year for a demonstration. And now they also canceled because about injury and the, uh, also holiday time. I'm afraid because this is also another client. This is more acrobatic. But Boogie Boogie is dancing. This is really mm. a different style, but it's still dancing. This is... We are happy with Boogie Boogie. We love these people and they love us. <laughs> it's very good. Okay, we will have to wait until Saturday to see them, but we're going to be streaming uh, their World mm. Championship live as well. So uh, that's also very good. Going to go out to markets where Boogie Woogie uh, is not even known. Uh, this uh, flow dance, it's an American outfit. <laughs> Boogie Woogie at one point might have come from the States, but nobody mm. dances Boogie Woogie in the, ah, they have in the US similar. anymore. Similar to things, yeah. swing dances. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. All right, gentlemen, I thank you very much for taking the time on this first day. Uh, we're going to keep uh, our fingers crossed that uh, it's going to end beautifully for you. And uh, maybe we can meet again on uh, Saturday and do a little mm -hmm. bit of a It'll be great. analysis. Yeah. It'll right. be great. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you too. I've had a love affair. I need someone, someone who really cares. Life is too short to play silly games. I promise myself I won't do that again. To Tim, to it's got to be. Perfect, it's got to be worth it, yeah. Too many people take second best, but I won't take anything less. It's got to be, yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back on this one. <laughs> No, this was outstanding. I didn't dare to ask, but like obviously uh, somebody that is capable of doing uh, this, I mean, Jesus, this is going to be I easier. I more practice in this one. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thanks to Maxi. Yes. <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> yes. All right, welcome to the German Open. Thank you. Thank you. We are very glad. <laughs> and and the excited. Okay, I can understand why. <laughs> The German Open has traditionally been a competition where the music was very, very important. And uh, in recent years, they used to have big bands like uh, Boris and his 16 musicians. And uh, people enjoyed live music. And now we're going to get live music, but not by 16 people, by only two people. And uh, can I ask you to present yourself a little bit to our viewers? Yes, I'm uh, Gerli Badar, the singer from Estonia. He is DJ Maxi. Also from Estonia. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I've been on the stages over 25 years, and, um, and uh, so I, 
I've been to the musicals, to your region, so I, uh, I kind of uh, live this uh, musician's life and music is very important for uh, dance sport, I know. And uh, it took me a while to take this, uh, uh, this uh, challenge to come here and uh, to, uh, to be ready for this kind of event. It's, uh, it's not easy for uh, us either and uh, we are very excited. <laughs> And here you are, basically on the day of uh, the first competition. Uh, you're looking at maybe five hours of uh, singing, of performing. And uh, how did this idea of, of singing and uh, a DJ come about? So who had it? Who started off as uh, the initiator? Uh, basically, actually, uh, your yes. husband. I yeah, think the uh, idea was. yes, it was uh, Martin Parmas uh, uh, who said that uh, uh, if you are uh, at the competitions, why you don't sing? And I, I, I knew that uh, uh, for dance sports, uh, there's certain rhythms, uh, tempo, everything is very important for the dancers, and um, that it's not a concert <laughs> that I, I, I have to sing for them. So it's like. Um, uh, it took me a while, but uh, I started uh, to uh, cooperate with uh, Maxi and uh, he knows everything about tempos, he knows everything about rhythms, so he creates uh, and helps me to create... Uh, it's like uh, she has voice, I have uh, music and I have like um, knowledge, yes, yeah. because I know what dancers need. I uh, communicate with uh, stars couples and asking them opinions, what the kind of music they want. So we're like making. We are a good team. <laughs> together, yeah. So. But still, I mean, it is a very, very ambitious undertaking to actually provide music for uh, these competitions that really, that's. A long time that you will have to perform. It's basically consistency is, is of utmost importance. Uh, I mean, you have to maintain the level. You cannot drop off towards the end. Uh, explain a little bit how you really go about it, practically speaking. I mean, you're mixing the the basics and you're singing, singing on top. I'm singing. Yes, of you sound like disappointed that there's no band. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, it's like. Um, uh, I basically do the playlist because uh, uh, some songs are very high, some songs are very low, so I mix them so I can, uh, uh, I'm, I know exactly how my apparatus is working, okay, and uh, I'm, I'm totally ready. I've been uh, working on a cruise ship, uh, cruise ships uh, for three years, every day, uh, four months in a row, I sang six hours, so this thing for me is piece of cake. <laughs> well, obviously it's a, a piece of cake in comparison to other achievements in your career as a, as a singer. I mean, you performed uh, very recently uh, in the uh, Eurovision Song Contest in the uh, selection Actually, it process. wasn't so uh, recently. It was 2007. But the, yeah, this year also I participated in national uh, and I got to the national final. But um, uh, this German Open is for me uh, first time uh, to sing five days in a row at, a, at this, this kind of uh, event. Yes, of course. <laughs> and uh, I do my best and uh, I try to offer with uh, Maxi to the dancers, to the audience, uh, to everybody the best quality of all the thing. And uh, when you were talking about uh, the uh, orchestra, uh, my uh, the CD that came out also for uh, German Open that I released uh, today. Uh, so it's also recorded by the live musicians. So, uh, it's uh, live music. They all play together in the same time in the studio. And the so quality total. Yeah, difference. the quality is very, very High good. Level. Yeah, sometimes uh, studio quality is even better than uh, the live, yes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell the orchestra. <laughs> 
You know what's also interesting? I mean, uh, this this whole setup of, of live music, of creating creating atmosphere. Uh, obviously, uh, in a something like dance, an artistic sport, it is important, and we have other dance disciplines where where this is almost uh, yeah commonplace. You have break dancing. You have uh, basically the DJ and the rapper adding mm -hmm. his or her stuff, and uh, this also makes for a nice combo. And uh, in uh, your repertoire right now, how many titles do you have? I think we have uh, around uh, over 200. So I don't have to repeat uh, so many songs. It's uh, just that some songs work for dancers better and some songs are good, but they are not like, you know, top, top. They, they, you don't feel like, oh, yeah. The song especially don't have energy. No. Yeah. The, itself, song, songs itself is good, but it don't, don't have energy something. So. Yeah, good energy songs we will repeat more during these five days. Sometimes she find a good song, she tell me, oh, this is good, this, this is a good song. Yeah. And uh, let's listen. No, this is not good work. because <laughs> I imagine how I will dance, how I feel like I'm a dancer. No, I imagine how I will dance, and I feel that, that this song will have energy. So I still have soul dance. <laughs> <laughs> and you have also years of experience as a, as a DJ, uh, basically also uh, mixing your own things. And uh... no, I start from the scratch. I start from the scratch. I start from uh, zero. I start to learning. Uh, Tutorials in YouTube, everything. So I do it my, by myself. I didn't self -made learn. Self-made. Yeah, self-made. <laughs> I didn't make anything, so I didn't went the music school. So totally. But his experience, yes, yeah. as you said. And uh, let's talk a little bit about your your Eurovision experience. Uh, I mean, obviously that you're under a lot of pressure there. Remember when you uh, performed in 2007? Yeah. What sticks? Actually, out? you know, I've been on the stage already, uh, from the very little. So, uh, I I <coughs> never felt like uh, that uh, I ha I'm under the pressure on the stage because I always give uh, more than 100 percent, and uh, it's like uh, I'm, I live on the stage. It's uh, it's no um, it's. Uh, it's always special. It's even special to perform with, when there are two people. But uh, if there's uh, like two million people or uh, even more Eurovision watching millions of people, then uh, I don't, uh, I don't uh, let myself think that, uh, oh, everybody is watching me. I'm just doing uh, what I do and uh, I love what I do. And I think uh, that's the most important thing that uh, that also the dancers, they can feel that I do it from the heart and I really, we really put effort to, uh, to give best quality, to, to have uh, the right key, that uh, the energy would be right. So we, we have put really because, much, because we, have we care about opinions and dancers and we... Because I'm there for them. And uh, that's the big difference for, for me as a performer that uh, as I told uh, before, if I give a concert, then I rule the world on the stage. But if I'm at this kind of event, the dancers, they rule the world. And I'm just serving them. Yeah. And I want to be yeah. the best servant. That's a very, very nice thing you just said. And uh, have you gathered this insight from experiences uh, with your daughter, a uh, dancer? Yes, of course. Uh, she's uh, always the first one who is saying uh, what is good and what is not. And uh, I always listen to her also. But uh, uh, the dancers, the, the top uh, couples, uh, they come to me and they say, oh, we like this, we like that. And uh, also judges, uh, they come and say, uh, you know, yeah, the that rhythm, is also important. Yeah, very important. The rhythm of this song wasn't uh, so good, you know. I I do the marks next time. We we well, have no, uh, yeah. yeah no mistakes. Feedback that you remember that sticks out in your memory that you received from from couples, star couples. You don't have to quote <laughs> anyone specifically, but what were the comments? Um. 
about they mostly they want like old style songs. What uh, I like. Yeah, what she likes. He doesn't. He likes I more like, pop. I like <laughs> like modern more, but in kind of way modern and style. It's like new style mixing together and modern. So something in middle. So and I give it to him and they like it. So mostly the stars couple like the old old songs. So I like to jazz and uh, to be honest, I'm more like a standard. <laughs> <laughs> and he's more like Latin, so yeah, we are more, a good more couple. La Latin, so. <laughs> and uh, of all the music that you have created jointly, what would you say uh, our audience should listen to as we're uh, uh, moving on in this program? What would be your favorite they should, song? Uh, they should listen to the official CD of uh, German Open that I released. There are 20 uh, totally uh, uh, new songs, old songs, and... Uh, uh, so everybody will find... Yes, yeah, something. Uh, something, yeah. That's a good idea, but uh, from what I understand, it's not going to be available until the 11th of uh, It's August. only in it's, uh, streaming it, platforms, it, yes. Yes, for streaming platforms, it will be open uh, 12th okay. of 12th. Uh, August. But uh, right now, they can only get it from Stuttgart Superdance Desk. Yes. Okay, now uh, all the songs, your repertoire, any song that you would also suggest that is maybe available on YouTube that people could listen to? Uh, Golden Eye. Golden Eye, yeah, as Jai. And also uh, these old ones, Moon River, uh, all these kind of songs also. Yeah, and also you can listen to Smooth Havana. That's only in the preview, but you can also listen. There's something about his mind. I'm almost of the opinion this could, could uh, change things around for, for Yeah, basically school. like uh, five years ago or ten years ago, nobody cares who is the DJ, what he will put, everybody just dancing. Now just every dancer cares, every judge cares who is there, what he putting, everything. Because Absolutely. And then we came. <laughs> Her voice, my uh, knowledge, and so we now listen couples. We now listen audience also, and judge. So you said you basically joined up in 2016, and uh, you did how many events together so far? I think around 20, and uh, we've also done already uh, World <coughs> Open. Uh, Championships for uh, also under Grand 21. Slam was in Benidorm, I think. It was a Grand Slam. Benidorm. No, World oh. Open. Oh, World <laughs> Open. Grand Slam is no, first yes, time yes. for us. Yes. Too much competition in my head. <laughs> <laughs> That's also going to be interesting because Grand Slam, obviously, aside from all the uh, audience uh, dance sport community, there is also a, a fair number of spectators that watch because they like dancing, they like music, and uh, could open up new perspectives. In any case, it, what happens here over the next five days could change your career. I mean, you could get bookings. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Good! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that we uh, summarize once again. Your CD is available already. Here yes, my at the CD, GOC. Yes. Okay. My CD is available at Superdance Desk in Stuttgart here, Liederhalle, and uh, you can get it. And every day at 12 o'clock, uh, I'm also signing. So if you want to have uh, a signed copy, come 12 o'clock. Also, if you want to listen uh, another songs, like not with her CD, uh, also creating the music and also create. Uh, uh, with person Avera, we create the dance sport records on music label, and also you can listen. Uh, we released the new CD. Um, spring? No, not spring. Uh, ah, Hot Rhythm 2. So you can listen uh, in stream platforms in Casa Musica, 
Uh, you also you can find their smooth Havana and singing back. She also singing there, so you can listen to her voice and also my music. <laughs> All right, so. and now everybody tonight will have the opportunity to actually watch you live because this is going to get streamed worldwide through uh, Flow Dance, and uh, I, for myself, I'm really anxious to uh, to hear this. I've only listened to it on uh, on YouTube. I thank you very much for taking the time and uh, I wish you the best of luck for the uh, remaining days of this uh, German Open Championships. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.